Good afternoon. It is uh, August 18, 2024, and it's a Sunday. Here in Sherbrooke, it is currently 23 degrees Celsius. I'm just going to adjust this. 23 degrees Celsius, uh, 73 degrees Fahrenheit. The sun this morning rose at 5.53 a.m. and will set at 7.48 p.m. That is a grand total of 13 hours and 55 minutes of sunlight. The days are getting shorter. Uh, this day is getting shorter. Um... I have not been uploading weather reports uh, for the past um, week, uh, over a week, because I've been in rehab for my alcohol addiction. Uh, and I got out this weekend, uh, and I'm going back for another week. And I'm going to go out, uh, yeah, next weekend, and then I'm going to go uh, back until Wednesday. Um, this weekend went well. Managed to maintain my abstinence. However, yesterday was a trial. Um, today with... Uh, Lots of anxiety. I was tired in the day, and uh, I have a lot of difficulty uh, uh, just like organizing tasks, but also uh, prioritizing tasks. So, like even like just figuring out what I want to do, what I need to do um, is. So I'm just looking at uh, costume. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, prioritizing them as well. So a lot of just like running around and uh, trying to figure out how to get everything done that I wanted to get done. I did, I think, try to do too much. Um, especially given that, uh, you know, I left Friday afternoon and I'm going back this afternoon in a little under an hour and a half. and. It's, it's supposed to rain uh, soon. It's supposed to be thunderstorms. It's quite cloudy outside right now. A 51% chance of rain, uh, 22 degrees Celsius, 72 degrees Fahrenheit, starting at 2 p.m., which is around when I'm going to start walking. Uh, because I don't have a ride. Uh, and I don't have a car. So I'm going back there. I'm pretty excited for that. Um, it's been a great experience. Probably the best decision I've made in my adult life uh, to uh, get sober and to... Uh, go through this program, uh, but it's obviously like emotionally uh, intense um, being there, but also being outside of there. Uh, sort of difficult to, uh, it's actually not difficult to describe. Essentially, I believe that anxiety is uh, one of the greatest, my anxiety is one of the greatest hurdles to me uh, progressing towards the person I want to be. And uh, my anxiety is uh, one of the major pillars of the things that I was trying to avoid by uh, drinking alcohol and taking drugs. I believe possibly the anxiety is maybe just uh, an additional layer on top of... It's like the anxiety is not being caused by like a direct need. The need is actually a layer of emotions under the anxiety that... Um, I'm just not able to access and accept and welcome. Uh, so I have that anxiety on top. Not always. I mean, there are like direct reasons uh, for at least some of the anxiety. But yeah, I think there's like a lot of stuff that I've just like repressed over the years um, that I am trying to figure out and find tools to help me figure out um, how to access and live and welcome those emotions uh, so we can keep getting closer to what's important to me in life. Um, and so I'm going back this afternoon. Uh, today, I'm thinking of the Diamond Sea. No, I'm not. No, I decided I'm not going to do that. I'm thinking of the song Beast by Aldous Harding. It's a good song. I'm also thinking about... Uh, Somebody pointed out that Titus Groan and Titus Alone, which are two songs off of Aldous Harding's self-title album, which uh, Beast is also on, are um, the titles of books by Mervyn Peake. Titus Groan being the first, Gorman and Gast being the second, and Titus Alone being the third. And I'm intrigued. Sort of like gothic fantasy novels from uh, the uh, early to mid part of the 20th century. And, uh, 
seems they seem pretty interesting, so I might read them someday. But uh, so far, I'm still um, reading um, Exhalation by Ted Chang, rereading the uh, short story The Life Cycle of Software Object, which I'd read before. And the other stories b uh, before that um, were fantastic. Um, but I also brought a book of short stories by Lydia Davis, because I was afraid that I was going to run out of short stories in exhalation uh, during my last uh, eight, nine, no, nine days in rehab. So I stopped reading it, but I want to continue reading, so I like reading. So I'll be reading those as well. Lydia Davis is a fantastic writer, and uh, uh, her collected short stories, and I highly recommend Lydia Davis and Ted Chang, both fantastic authors. Um, but yeah, uh, all this starting is great. I believe I've talked about all this morning before, but um, I haven't listened to her first record as much uh, as the others because starting with Party, that's where I really, um, I mean, I uh, became a fan with Party and I've uh, been again and again astounded at how good her music is and how she just really switches it up uh, while still remaining um, characteristically uh, bold and weird and smart uh, in her music. And I really love it. But this record is really good. It's more of a straightforward folk record than her uh, subsequent releases, but uh, there's some really great stuff on there. A Beast is an uh, absolute banger of a song. Love it. Stop Your Tears. Hunter. Um, Ty Sloan. They're all good. Uh, check it out. Um, so, I'm not really quite sure what I'm going to be doing until I have to leave. Sort of, I'm packed. Done. I need to... I should probably eat something, but I don't know really what. I make myself a sandwich. I don't really have much food because I want to buy food for the weekend. That was one of the things, too, that I just realized is, like, I can't function without eating, which seems obvious, but I, 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 I've spent a lot of times neglecting meals. And now, while I was in rehab, I was eating, like, three times a day. And I'm sort of starting to realize that, like, that is one of the uh, major contributing factors to feeling overwhelmed by uh, just being uh, an existing human trying to do stuff uh, in the world uh, has been because I, I, I just don't eat consistently. Um, so I, I'm, I'm going to need to eat something at least. I eat breakfast, but I need more. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put the, my bread in the freezer though, because I had forgotten to do that and um, came back to some moldy bread. I don't want that to happen. I'm doing the weather report. I need to ask. I'm going to be working at a contemporary dance music festival doing uh, the sound. And I'm going to ask my uh, employer, uh, well, coworker, um, who knows about the setup, oh, if there are going to be any live musicians, or if it's just going to be pre recorded tracks, that will help reduce anxiety. Um, I also need to thank my aunt and uncle because I went yesterday with my mother to buy pants and shoes and they paid for it because they're nice and they love me and they knew that I needed shoes and pants. So I'm going to thank them for that because I'm quite grateful. Um, and then that's what's left on my list. And within the next 40, let's say 40 minutes, uh, I believe that I can get that done while this is uploading. Um, but I will mention, I uh, should have mentioned this up top, but I'm probably definitely 100% going to delay the release of Dark Souls 4 because I have been, I'll, I'll put it in the description as well, because I have been in rehab, and so I've not been able to work on the finishing touches of this album. Uh, thank you to everybody who watched La Tarantella Es Bagliata, I believe that's how you pronounce it, um, and uh, left nice comments. Um, I'm quite grateful for that as well. Just going to be a little bit longer. Um, sorry to the person who bought a copy of it on Bandcamp because um, it's going to be there a little late. But I think it's going to be worth the wait because I'm quite proud of this album. I think it's very good, and I work really hard on it, and that's why I want to spend the extra time necessary to finish it up so it sounds good, or as good as I can make it, so that it is enjoyable to listen to uh, to anybody who wants to listen to it. Later today.
Um, it's going to still hover around the 50% chance of uh, precipitation mark. Um, while still steadily going down, sort of on and off, cloudy thunderstorms. Um, and it did down a 34% chance of rain at around 8 p.m., which is 20 degrees Celsius, 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and uh, leaving us all the way down to 18 degrees Celsius, 65 degrees Fahrenheit at the end of the day with a 56% chance of rain and partly cloudy with showers. Um, I just realized I was going to talk about Jason Molina, but I might do that next weekend. I had a great experience crying while walking uh, at rehab, listening to Blue Chicago Moon by Jason, Jason Molina. Just fantastic. Uh, in any case, um, at least internally, I am looking forward to some moments, hopefully many moments, uh, next week of beautiful, of internal beautiful blue skies and golden touch on all, all along the way, along with um, a rise in uh, various emotions, um, but also an acquisition of tools to be able to uh, just have my shit more together uh, for the rest of my life. Everyone, have a great rest of your day.